stop being naughty. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, you know what you were doing. Look at your mouth now. <laughs> Hey, what did I just tell you? Good morning. I literally <laughs> just woke up and I'm already uh, I'm applying a mask to my face. Today is Monday, which I don't think I've ever mentioned to you, but it's my day off and it's just the most wonderful feeling which i'm sure you can understand i decided i can't speak because this thing is like hardening around my mouth i decided today i am just going to groom myself it's been quite a month and i'm just exhausted but like exhausted in a good way just work getting really hectic and then I don't know you know just like normal things <laughs> as normal as it can get why is it going out of focus yeah so i've just decided to like take this day for myself today is the day that i do my um my instagram game i always try and do like something to like engage with you and i just like never really had the time but these days I, I i do it on my day off which is why i always do it on a monday because i have a little bit more time so i'm gonna do my little instagram game if you participate in my instagram game it's not a game i don't know why i'm saying game it's not a game i just asked you a question <laughs> um, but if you do participate in my instagram game thank you uh, please know that I don't just do this for shits and giggles. I really do enjoy reading every single response. You guys are funny and a bit weird, which is probably why I attracted you to my channel. Oh, this feels so weird. I saw this, someone commented this on my video um, a day ago and the way I laughed oh my gosh like especially now it's it's like it, i'm thinking of that comment because yeah i mean look at the eddie guy would be really lucky to marry me <laughs> also i just want to say thanks meryl if you're watching this thank you uh for having my back i'm really intrigued by this you guys always come to my defense <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't even met me i mean you have but you know what i mean and it's just it's i always find that very intriguing uh, but very very touching so thank you that you are always coming to my defense but please know that i never ever get sad by the haters by trolls because i kind of thrive on it <laughs> i think because i'm so secure with myself as you can see <laughs> not only am i secure with myself but i'm so secure with my content that any like horrible content any horrible comment on my channel it really does not affect me it's like it's it just makes me laugh so please don't ever think that i'm like sad and like booking myself into therapy because of the trolls no i really actually enjoy it because i really enjoy roasting them back it's a lot of fun for me yeah so monday is the day when i like chill do a face mask if i need to have my coffee uh do youtube things if i if i've uploaded on sunday uh then i take my monday morning to like go through 
comments and see how the video is doing, engage with you on Instagram and inform as well, like I'm doing now. Yeah, I guess Monday is like YouTube day, which means I don't really have a day off because <laughs> as much as YouTube is a hobby, it's also like a full-time job. So I think this is ready to come out. I'm going to start from here. sure that you're in I don't want you half cut off okay full cut off okay ready well how's it people good morning and how are you today about a week ago oh my gosh uh, we almost lost Beverly. I actually filmed what was happening. Oslo, leave it! But when I started filming, I didn't fully realize what was going on. The dogs, they have a very particular bark for an animal. So actually the bark that I heard I knew they were barking at an animal, but for some reason I thought it was an iguana. So I was like, oh great, farm footage. <laughs> uh, let me go and film this. Only when I went outside then I realized what was going on. I'm just looking at the footage while I tell you the story. Because actually I got so lost in the moment when I realized what was going on. I wasn't really like talking. I was just like in shock. Yeah, so let me talk you through it now. Also, I was so traumatized from like, I really thought uh, Bev was going to die. And so I had to wait for like a week to pass. <laughs> uh, and now I'm... Uh, now that she's you know alive and well 
um, I can talk about it. So even as I was walking out to them, I didn't realize at this moment that Bev was bitten because actually Bev was not here. I, ra I ran out and thank God for our gardener because his name is Mzamo. Because honestly, I don't even understand how he saw that this was happening because he was like on the other side of the garden. Uh, but he said that he heard them barking and going crazy. So he came running and then he saw the snake. It's a night adder, by the way. Yeah, so when I ran outside, I saw Oreo and Oslo, the two main culprits barking at this thing and uh but bev was nowhere to be found so i th i know bev she's like very emo she's never really interested in what the others are interested in she doesn't care so she's usually just sitting on the red chair oreo and oslo looked unscathed uh they had killed the snake um and they seemed fine so i that excitement was over then i go back in sight and my dad said that Mzamo, the gardener, said that actually Bev was bitten. I didn't realize this because she was not at the scene. And again, thank goodness for him because I don't know how he even saw that. He was like up by the mango trees, which is very far from where the dogs were in the garden. I go and see Bev and you'll notice that there's like a little bit of her blood or... Oh. Um, something's happening by her mouth. At first, I didn't realize something was wrong because she was just like chilling there on the chair as usual. And then I noticed that she started shivering and that's when I was like, oh no. So then I went to my dad and I was like, she has to go to the vet now. has just been bitten by an adder. Stung it in its lip, lower lip, I think, in the, in the mouth there. Yeah, now I say half an hour. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Yeah, thank you. Okay, bye. She said you have to come immediately. We sent her off to the vet. I could not go. I really wanted to go. Um, but that day, work was insane. I had like a very strict deadline that I had to follow, plus load shedding, so I, I could not go. But my father went and he took the gardener with him. So the vet gave Bev a shot. Luckily, the venom of the night adder, it doesn't kill. So it just causes a huge amount of pain for the dog. I, I realized that was true because I tried to touch Bev and before I, I didn't even touch her. I did not, I, she just saw my hand extending towards her head and she like yelped out in pain like to tell me that she's in too much pain to be touched so when i saw that she was in so much pain i just wanted to cry because i just like I, I can't even imagine like how much pain she must have been in for me to not even touch her and she's already yelping yeah but that injection that the vet gave her did wonders like the next day she was like back to like 80 percent health i came to visit the patient Where's the patient? Hello baby boo! You okay? You look like you are very drowsy. Hmm? How are you? Look how much better you are. Hey? I can touch you now. You look like you're back to normal, babe. You're gonna bite a snake again. Hmm? I bet you if there's another snake outside right now, you're gonna go bite it. Hmm? You haven't learned your lesson. You must break these toxic traits. Mm? The following day, like 100% back to her usual frisky self. But yeah, long story short, Bev is alive, back to 100% health and a bit of a scare. <laughs> a bit of a scare for us. The first farm you turn in, they turn right. And you come straight through. I can go fetch him if you want to stay here. And because you... Oh my god, my <laughs> are panicking, yeah? Oh my god, of course, every window is open.
Okay, I'm going. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm still in my pajamas. I'm at the farm stall. I came to fetch the snake catcher. What a day. Like, I definitely didn't expect this day to turn out like this. And that, that green mamba is just chilling there in the scullery. My my mother was like, I think my other, either my mother or father was washing the dishes and they didn't even see that thing chilling right there by the plates. Um, when we found the guy, he was like, please send me a picture because I'm out catching, I'm very busy catching snakes today. So I need to know if this is really a green mamba. And of course, I'm the one who has to take the photo. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we sent him the picture and yeah, it's a green mamba. Yeah, so I have to fetch him because he cannot find the farm. Story of my life. And honestly, the snake is really inconvenient because some people have to walk. Like, I don't have time to do this. Anyway, there is definitely a silver lining to this. I'm so glad the snake came into the house and not outside because if the dogs saw that they would definitely go and bite it and we would be we would have had a dead dog today for sure we already almost lost bev to a snake the other week so like i'm done with this i'm done with this mamba drama so much fun living on a farm isn't it i just wish that we lived in a normal house so that people can actually find us like it would just save so much time, you know, when it comes to like deliveries and snake catchers and uh, oh, man. I love the farm. I love the farm. I love the farm. So did it just swallow something? Sure. We caught a black mama this morning. Oh. oh. It's in the car. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. Now I'm going to release it if you don't bite me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can bite through the bags. Mm. So you've got to be so careful where you hold them. All right, thanks so Thank much. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Excitable printer in the world. You know what? For my 34th birthday, I am going to treat myself to some AirPods because this I've had enough. I am hot full with this thing, man. Like, how have I struggled with these stupid, stupid. And look what's happened. Look what I've. just focus oh my gosh like i know my face is beautiful but like can you just look at this thing look at what i've done to this thing look at, it's like everywhere i've managed to oh it's everywhere I, i've managed to do that everywhere on this thing ridiculous but you know what at least you know that i use this really well so 
you know, money well spent. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Every time I go through this, it's like magic how this happens. Like you untangle it within an hour. You don't even know how. And it's like this again. Also, I feel like, hello, can you just? I am so hot <laughs> in more ways than one if you know what I mean <laughs> right my friends it is time to walk because you know you... Oh, guys, it's hot did you hear that sound <laughs> and I'm alone today so you know no worries We used to be close, but people can go from people you know to people you don't. Why is this not working? What is going on? 10 minus 6 is 4. What is 10 minus 6? It is 4. As far as I know, 10 minus 6 is 4, right? Listen, I was a brilliant mathematician back in the day. So as far as I remember, 10 minus 6 is 4. Am I going crazy? You see, I told you, 10 minus 6 is 4. So what is the problem? differently to what I did in the past three months. <sighs> oh my god. Don't even tell me this was the problem. I swear to god. I... Where's Uncle Google? I need Uncle Google. Oh. Gosh! I mean, for Pythagoras' sake. This is what I want to know. Okay, um, problem solved. Um, but I just want to know why other countries can't just be normal like us? Like, why must there be this thing called uh, daylight savings. Like, how much time do you really want to save? You know, like, is it even necessary? Did you know that America has gone back by one hour? Did you know that? Well, now you do. And I've been sitting there for like 45 minutes saying 10 minus 6, 10 minus 6, 10 minus 6. Meanwhile, it's 10 minus 7. They have gone back by one hour. Oh my gosh. Can you see how, look at my sweat. That's because I'm stressed and I've wasted so much time. Like no one even told me and I'm just, I just have to sit and figure that out for myself. I like you. I do. Out there. Swing boats. Okay, I have a meeting. You know what? I don't even know if this blazer goes with... Actually, it doesn't look so bad. I know. Yellow weirdly goes with this blazer. Okay. Okay, how do I look? Do I look like I'm <laughs> ready for me, right? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm good. Can't complain. How are you? Yeah, good, good, good. I'm just uh, dying in the heat. South Africa is uh, pretty hot today. <laughs> Okay. Okay, bye. Ooh, okay, meeting done. Actually, the sweat gives me a nice glow, eh?
Mm. Look how healthy. It is time for me to chill because my brain feels like mush. I just got a special delivery from the farm. Hey, guess what we're eating for the next few days. You know, honestly, when you think about it, aren't mushrooms just the weirdest things? I mean, look at this. It's crazy, man. It's almost like gills or something. And isn't it crazy how it just like sprouts out from the ground? So crazy. <laughs> it almost has like stingray vibes, you know? So weird. Oh, you saw what's on your coat? No. Come see. Come see. No. Oh my god. You gave me a heart attack. Why do you have to act like that? I don't know. Look how it's looking. It's like looking at, up at something. But why is it here? That like this is the place for it. You would think it has so many legs, but it looks like it just has those yeah. four. I mean, eight. But what's the thing with these things, man? Mamba, then this bloody thing here. Yeah? What's next? Okay, I'm going for the rustic look, okay? But here it is. Peppermint cake a la Sam. Hello! <laughs> How are you? Oh my god, are you wearing a Harry Potter hoodie? No, it's like a Canadian military thing. I really like that hoodie. I I am requesting it when you die. Put it in your wall for me, please. I want you to say hello to the vlog. I won't show your face. You can just say hi. Hi vlog. <laughs> and then what you want to do is tell them how amazing I am. And then I'm going to edit it so that it looks like I didn't tell you to say that. And it just came naturally from you. <laughs> okay. Hello. Look at its little paws, its little toesies. I just want to live a quiet life forever. Quiet, quiet place. I don't think she's been partying all the time. But listen, you must go out and meet people. That you you become like your father. I still relate to you. Look like me and the baby of your father. Not a good thing at all. <laughs> You have to meet other people. We are social beings. Oh, no. But they don't have to come and stay with you. <laughs> Finishing it. Must I'm I keep it for you for mm -hmm. later? Mm -hmm. I will never eat egg that is over an hour old. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. At least, you know, when we go to a house, we have fresh, fresh food. Fresh. <laughs> you should just lay them in front of you. 